Hey guys, Pokemon there, and welcome back. I need to activate the thing. Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. Is it going? Is the sound recording? It should be. I broke it. Go away. <laughs> okay. Enter. Why it always exits out of the thing. Okay, where would did we leave off? Alright, we left off right in this town. Outside of which I did not collect a bell sprout, and I touch cannot do. Hang on. Sprout Tower! Pokeballs. We got five. The only thing that can appear in the Sprout Tower is Bell Sprout. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. I had to read that in exactly that voice, otherwise it wouldn't have been as good. I mean, look at the guy, he's a monk type dude. He's a very angry monk, Nico. I mean, is that the, the name of the. Wasn't that a Shadow Colossus' beta name? I feel like it was. Yeah, because you got Eco, then Nico, and you got Trico and the thing. The uh, Guardian. The Last Guardian. I thought the last- I thought for certain the last Guardian was going to refer to, like, the last Colossus. Maybe it is distantly related to the class line, considering all of the Team Eco games are all kind of related, but, like, not directly. It's indirect, and it's cool. Uh, Poison Sting. <laughs> oh my god. Poison String doesn't normally do that on damage. I'm a bug, why did you do that? That was- <laughs> That was a critical hit, and it did one damage. <laughs> okay, look. Who's the first hitter? Critical? So it had to be. Okay, yeah. I was thinking about it. For some reason, I thought that did incorrect damage. Oh my god, you have three bells. It's like the guys with six magic carps. Turn this down. It's loud. <laughs> Scooter's like, no, no, I don't want to do that. So is Gorochu. Probably because of the same Pokemon. TikTok, not Hypno. I guess TikTok's about to die. I don't want to risk TikTok. Bird Pokemon. It's the only bird Pokemon I have. Anyway, since I'm gonna catch a Bellsprout, I gotta figure out just what I want to replace with Onyx. Hmm. I have to set him a team, but. Oh, definitely the Rattata, actually. See, the thing with old Pokemon AIs, they are programmed to use the move that is best against your Pokemon. Why does this one keep using Vine Whip? I don't know, is that the only move it has? Doesn't it have, like, Tackle or something? Because if it had Tackle, that would take priority since it's not... It's normal effective. This is not very effective. How this old AI works, they also never run out of points, so they can just sit and do an attack infinitely. I remember distinctly having to catch a few Pokemon, a few legendary Pokemon in later Pokemon games, and abusing the... You know, they, have it, they only have so much points before they run out of their attack. Because then I can do whatever I want. But that's actually how I beat Cynthia in Pokemon Platinum. I just healed over and over until everything ran out of moves and then I killed it. Cynthia was hard, like. I. The only champion I remember being harder than Cynthia is definitely Lance. Like, from Gen 1 and 2. I don't know, maybe he wasn't even harder. All I know is those are the two most difficult and I. Lead champions to date. Because, uh, they. They were tricky. You know? You got. Dragon Knight has several pseudo legendary. Uh, Cynthia has a pseudo legendary. It's amazing. Everyone has the best things. 
in the heart. Everyone else, like, you could always get exactly what you needed pretty easily in the rest of the games to fight the Elite Four, but in the older ones, it was always a lot harder to get the stuff. Especially in Gen 1, because you didn't have anything to counter the Alakazam that was used. And you didn't... And you didn't have Dark... Did, did I say Dark? I feel like it didn't. You know, yeah, you got stuff. I should probably continue on. Oh, he's a sage. He's not a monk. What happened? It froze. That was weird. Do, 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 do. Paralyze heal. I guess if they use certain powder moves. And dang it, no! There's too much gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Sage Chow. Sage Chow. <sighs> Hooray for the fast forward button. Alright. Well, this doesn't take forever. This is really funny to watch going back. Burn really fast. A bell sprout. Please be a bell sprout. No! Oh, Gashley's still a cool Pokemon. Ashley's face is hilarious. Ha! You can't hit with the just twice. Ah, uh, instant regret. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, please not hit me. Don't die. I get like the one in a million chance to find not a bell sprout in the sprout tower. But I guess it is good to have a dark or a ghost poison type. Maybe like a hound or something. Both my moves are normal type. I don't have anything good. I don't want to fail a Pokemon. Okay, hang on while I work on this. I guess I realize I don't have anything that can, like, damage it. I don't show my... All I can do is just throw Pokeballs at it until it works and until they run out. I don't want to run out, but, you know, what choice do I have? Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay! I got it! I got such high health. Holy crap! Pokemon. Dude, it's a fifth of a pound. It's four feet. Big. Long, tall, wide. Well, I got a Pokemon from it. So I guess I can't complain too much. Dun da 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 Hmm. 
get one out of Pokemon besides the Bell Spot with Rare here. I don't want you, you stupid thing. Just run. No! I'm not gonna risk it. Have something insane. I'm gonna send in Riptor. Really wanted a Bell Sprout though. I completely forgot the Sprout Tower existed in my previous Nutless Lock. It's kind of hilarious, but also kind of pathetic. It's also pathetic, just how rare Bell Sprout is in its unnamed tower. Yes, heal all my things, and I need to ditch. Because I know I got Goro too, and that's what I'm keeping, because it's got better stats for what Katata does. But I can't, for the life of me, remember the previous thing. Look. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna make a water model. Bill? Why did I meet Bill? There's, uh, there's some of the previous Pokemon Center, wasn't there? I don't know. Yeah, this is what it took, this is what it used to take to just move Pokemon. Scooter! Right, right! I'm ghastly, but I now have to train. So it's not useless. Fortunately, I can't train it. I don't know, I guess if I find a better ghost. Is there a better ghost currently? I don't know if I find one, though. The Eevee! I need an Eevee for the dark type. And... I don't know, what are the rules on GIF? I guess it'll be the same as interactable Pokemon. Uh, interactable Pokemon and gift Pokemon don't count, but roaming Pokemon do count. For like, so if I go into a new area after the three legendary Pokemon are released, <laughs> I will have to. I'll have to hope I get them first in the route, and I'm also gonna have to choose my Master Ball very carefully. Uh, hopefully, I can get an Entei. I, I like Entei so much more than Raikou. For some reason, Raikou's back. It looked like like a baby's crib with all the little arms and stuff sticking out, like the stars and stuff. It's a cool-looking Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, but you know, <clears throat> it looks like a baby. Like I thought this before baby Pokemon. Like I, before I even knew what baby Pokemon were, I knew that those Pokemon existed, but I never registered them as being a different type of Pokemon. But yeah, I really want Entei. That's what I'm gonna have to spend Master Ball on, considering. If I don't, there's almost no chance of me actually catching it. So yeah, I'm gonna have to. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to use my Master Ball to capture Entei. And yeah, like Lugia, uh oh, things like that don't count. But I, yeah, I need to train more. Do -do 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 I caught something from over here, didn't I? Yeah, I think it was my second Rattata. Here, here's everyone's favorite wiggly tree. Isn't it weird how it kind of looks like two eyes looking over to, uh, move the top right? What is that noise? Anyway, we can't currently catch any more Pokemon. No, wait, the whole point of me going up there was to grind, not catch more Pokemon. It's a hoot hoot. 
ghastly! Go! I can't hit a plant, but I could hit with hypnosis, but I don't wanna. Mm. I guess I'll just end in the Riptor. I'm gonna sit here in fast forward mode for a while. Cool, level 11. Ah, oh, crap, I did a thing. He's got Gengar's, Gengar's Sprite. <laughs> Looks funny when you do that, though. They all just kind of vibrate, become not clear. Look at this little guy. The music's hilarious, too. Probably was one, not Hypnos, what I meant was. <laughs> Look at the little guy. Riptor. I thought it was actually a small Pokemon. No, I think Spinarak would be the smallest. I don't know how big. Alright. Uh, I didn't. Polywhirl on. Polywag is what I meant. Those are Polywag, not Polywhirl. It's like the, uh, Officer Jenny at the portion. I She looks to growl it. It says, Arcanine, use Flamethrower! Dang it, he used his berry. Didn't really want to use that this early. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, this is gonna have to be my last go. I also don't have the editing skills to just turn something into fast forward mode. So, it's fast forward. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 I screwed up. Oh no 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 Oh no 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 Oh no no Oh no Oh no oh no 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 Okay I have an idea No I screwed up I screwed up very badly Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Because it almost got me killed. So. Uh, yeah, that didn't work as well as I had hoped it to. Really should have stopped abusing that button. But, I mean, we all know I'm not gonna. Level 7. I'm gonna train till that one is around that level. It's gonna be easier. Because I don't think anyone wants to sit and watch me do that for the next hour. Okay, so I've been grinding for a while. Everyone's fairly high level, so I gotta work on TikTok. But I just realized Ghastly is unnamed. So, I, I don't know what I should do about that. Sh should I, like, deposit him until I get to the Goldenrod name changer? Do I just hold on to him? Do I have to full on release him? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll. I'll figure it out. But in much brighter news. It's daytime! Get it? Brighter news? Because it's daytime? I forgot what this place's day, daylight color scheme looked like. It's weird, because I only ever play late at night. And so I only ever. You know. Get it? And it's, it's only ever. I only see it, ever see it in night mode. And I was not expecting to. Maybe the Pokemon will be different in night mode. I mean day mode, and apparently yes, it is. If only I had a flying move. Letterbo looks weird. Look at his eyes. His eyes are weird. He's also a tiny ladybug with six fists. And his weird face. Okay, two more levels. I'm trying to get everyone to level 8. I'm trying to get uh, Ripper to level 13. That is not the move that you should... But I wanted you to... Anyway, I'm gonna get Ripper to level 13 where he can have Water Gun. 
because apparently in Gen 2, Riptos the Totodile gets Water Gun at level 13 instead of level 6 like in future generations. He also doesn't get Ice Fang and doesn't get... He, d he gets uh, Hydro Pump at level 16. No, 67. Hey, isn't that funny? It's the same level as well as evolves in High Dragon. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to the jump cut. I just wanted to give you a quick little update. God, I hate it. It's a Growlithe. I love Growlithe and the Fire type in Gen. God, I wonder what Fire type I should go for. Considering the odds of getting into the odds of getting any Pokemon I want is are slim to none. I think I might be able to teach Raticates and Fire Moves. Back to cutting. I hit it twice, like a retard. Let's try that again, and pause. Yay, level 13. That means we have Water Gun now. Okay, let's go heal one last time and then try not to get murdered by Volk. No, <laughs> the name's still ridiculous. And if all six of my Pokemon go down, I have to start again with just that one attack. Oh god, that's terrifying. Um, uh, who should I have up front? Maybe Hypno. Uh, if we go not Hypno, then we might be able to Hypnosis this guy. But I think Ghastly also has Hypnosis. But most of the bird... Like all the bird types at this point are also normal types, so couldn't hit me. Oh, but there's TikTok. TikTok's got hypnosis as well, so he can use good moves. Hey, buddy! Keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. How long have you been at this night and day training? Because uh, your bird Pokemon kind of suck. I say right before probably dying. I'm not gonna use the fast forward button as long as I'm actually recording. It's a Pidgey. That's a high level Pidgey. But I'm high level. I thought I had hypnosis. I've made a horrible error. I've made a horrible, horrible error. You know, I just, I just decided. Uh, as a con. as a con. compromise. For you know, being able to capture any interactable Pokemon and not have you know, not have any other things, I only get one chance at catching the the interactable Pokemon, be it Snorlax or whatever else. No crap! I used that again too fast. That means I only have like one or two more turns before he starts attacking again. Bubble, bubble. Don't die. Okay, I'm gonna switch now to... Riptor! Yes! Okay, I think Riptor can probably take this out. Because he's Riptor. Ha! You missed! Now, let's use our new move. Stab boost. Plus, I think it's my most powerful current move. I must... I think I'm gonna replace... I think... If I Next Pokemon to catch, I'm gonna replace uh, Poliwhirl, considering we already got a good Warner type, being Mr. Totodile right here. Riptor, not Totodile. His name is Riptor, <laughs> and so I'm gonna rip that Pidgey in half. Actually, he's going to gently spit water on it. It's a bit less epic. Holy crap! He's dead. Yay! Bird Keeper Rod was defeated. Crap, no. I really should stop abusing this, but I can't. Actually, I was recently watching a video by a guy. Uh, his channel. His current channel is Bicaspri Blue. He's doing a playthrough of Pokemon Crystal using nothing but six uh, 
uh, Smeargles. So, Smeargle is not necessarily the best Pokemon. It's a gimmick Pokemon like Magikarp, except it's not as useful as Magic. Ditto. Why did I default to Magikarp of all things? It's not a. It's a gimmick Pokemon like Ditto, where like Ditto can transform. Smeargle can learn any move if, that it's hit with. So, it's, but it doesn't breed with everything like Ditto can. So it just kind of. Yeah, it's it's a pretty bad Pokemon. So he spends a lot of time. Why am I going back up here? He spends a lot of time just grinding, but it is really funny. Uh, personally, I like Yelp and Picasper Yellow more than Blue, but his Smeargle playthrough is hilarious. <laughs> yes. He, he's. And he knows where more things are in Pokemon Crystal, but I think Nuzlocke's are slightly more interesting. I don't know, maybe they're not. Just watching some- Why do I keep doing that? God! Watching someone try and go through this game with nothing but six Smeargle of all things. It's pretty funny. Okay, so I think... Best course of action. Switch to- Switch Riptorn to the front. I'm Faulkner, the Pokemon, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. Did you know? I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Did you know that originally there was going to be a bird type, and there's only one Pokemon that has the bird type. I'm missing now. Now, if we can fight Faulkner. Why do you have a Pidgey? Why do you have a level 7 Pidgey? Faulkner, come on, you're a gym leader. You gotta leave a be better first impression than this. <laughs> Fortunately, number 3 is Whitney. And maybe I can beat this guy within the minute, so that way I don't have to cut. He's only got one more Pokemon. I'm just gonna hold the fast forward button. Dang it! Yeah, it looks neat. A oh, sweet level 14. My cherished bird. Father's cherished bird Pokemon. All right, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. Zephyr badge raises the attacks. Power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash. They have it. And here, take this too. TM31. What's TM31? Come on, get through so I can skip and get to the Pokemon Center. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I was not able to do it. Only be used once. Oh, yeah, in this version, it's, uh. Can only be used once. That's. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get out of here. Because we did it! We did it, guys! We got to, uh... Oh. Well, you know what? I, this episode's been... This episode's relatively short. I beat the gym leader, but... Let's do one more quick thing. Uh, uh something about the egg. My assistant says the Pokemon is at the Pokemon Center in Tyler City. Could you talk to him? Click! Oh yeah, this egg hatches into a Togepi. I'm gonna have to check out if Togetic's any good or not. So I might take that Togepi, because it is a gift Pokemon, and as such, I can't have it. Long time no see! Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Oh no, you can't carry any more Pokemon with you. I'll wait here while you... Okay, you know what, since I have to skip anyway, I'm going to see if Togepi's any good, or if I should just box that egg and keep it for later. When I inevitably die. See you momentarily. Okay, I just looked up. I think Togetic's worth getting, so I'm gonna deposit- oh yeah, I just deposited. I deposited not Hypno, uh, yeah, I- uh, it's got some good moves, it can learn a fire move. Metronome is fun if you have- if you're in a desperate corner and you just need to hope for something good, just go and you do the thing, and then you use some- you get lucky and use some amazing attack, or you get unlucky and use Splash or Self-Destruct. 
So then I guess the last thing... Okay, then I'll call them the egg hatches. Now, I guess, let's go. You know what, I want to, uh... I'm gonna hatch it, like, off-screen. Because it's really boring to watch an egg, to watch me hatch an egg. As soon as it starts to, you know, as soon as it actually does the thing, I'll put it back on and, and you can see the egg. But in the meantime, I'll see you momentarily. Okay, I think it's close to doing the thing. So I'm just gonna run back and forth until it does. Because I checked the thing and it was pretty close to hatching, so... I don't want to miss it, because I don't have this recording. So I'm gonna run back and forth until it gives me what I want. Come on. I know that it said that it was doing well. It's going to hatch soon. Yeah. Come on. Eventually, this is going to work. And I'm going to have a Togepi that can learn Metronome. And I'm probably going to move to her Flamethrower. Togetic can learn Fly, so what's that? And then again, TikTok can also learn Fly, but yeah, whatever. You can also learn Flash, and Flash is- There we go, finally! I forgot that I haven't had the music on this entire time. And I guess it makes it so, but then you didn't hear Falkman's music. Look, there it is. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> yes. Uh. I don't know. Here. Hang on. I know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Squishy. Funny thing is, it's known as a spiky ball Pokemon, which is weird. Because it's not. Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and walk into the gym so that we can hear the music for a moment. <laughs> yeah, you, you just beat the easiest gym leader in this entire I region island. But you know, you'll you'll be the champion in no time. Well then, this has gone on for long enough. I think I think we did quite well. We beat the gym leader. We got our Pokemon up to level 8. Uh, Ripper finally learned Water Gun. And we got Togepi to replace the completely pointless Poliwhirl. That does mean I have to level it. You know, I'm gonna level it up to level 7 because I hear- because I'm pretty sure that's where it gets Metronome. It's also the most useful to me when it has a decent move. Because look at it. It's squishy. <laughs> Get it? Because that's the term referring to something being Weak. It doesn't even have an attacking move. Also, this is when Charm is normal type, because Fairy type doesn't exist. It's so weird going back to this, because like I recently beat Ultra Moon. It's great. Uh, it was super fun. My final team was awesome. I had Salamance and Skarmory and Ampharos. It was really cool. But you know, there's Fairy type, and I got used to Fairy type, and I got used to all the things. It's still weird seeing the daylight thing. Really wish I'd for, for the thing. It's so weird. Toga is supposed to have like red and blue, but now it's pink and black little square things. What does the shiny form look like? Because I'm pretty sure a shiny form just like inverts the colors of the red and blue things, but, but no one really cares about that. And instead it just like makes it a slightly different tone. <laughs> Oh, I think that's the only Pokemon ever that you are given. It has no offensive moves when you first catch it. I mean, I, okay, I guess except for Magikarp, but Magikarp doesn't count. It's Magikarp. It's legendary for only being able to learn two moves in this generation. Maybe three. Yeah, because it's got Splash, Tackle, and Flail. I'm just gonna sit here and talk about stupid things until. Oh god, this is gonna take a while. Well. You know Let's send in Gorochu. Gorochu learns quick attack. 
Yeah. It's weird. Uh. I guess we'll send him Rick to our game. Yeah. This, this game is great. Still is. It's tons of fun. Hopefully soon I. He has. Move. I should level up TikTok a bit more to where he has. Flying move. Because currently he has foresight. It's like the most useless thing in the world. Alright, well, so we gotta level it up one more time. This is so weird, hearing the music just go <laughs> Yeah. I, another thing I've done too bad on this Nuzlocke, I managed to beat me forget. None of our Pokemon have died thus far. I dropped at it. It's just this tiny little ball that's not even fully hatched from the egg. It just goes, rah! Did you know that that egg in the Japanese versions has an, has like an absurdly high chance of being shiny? Let's mention them. <laughs> it used recover. That was awesome. Don't make me miss. Of course, it's something stupid like that. Stop using sand attack. Dang it, I missed. Okay, fine, I'll do something to it. Not him. Let's send in Gorachu. Gorachu can kill it. Squish. Oh, at least Squishy's like on par with the rest of the team now. And we have Metronome, which can do god knows what. You end up doing it in Splash, and then immediately afterwards, you do Sacred Fire. Uh. I don't know, now we have a good counter for Whitney's. What is it? Clefairy? Yeah, have random metronome versus random metronome, and then they both do it, and then they do something stupid to each other. And then we have to find <laughs> how to deal with no tank. Oh, well, Bugsy first, so I I really need to teach. I really need to teach uh, TikTok flying move for Bugsy. And it'll make things so much simpler. But anyway, this has been fun. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, then leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe. It'd be really appreciated. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.